Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a video to help you with your portfolio for your senior project um, judging day. Um, that sounded kind of negative, but your senior project, the day that you go and you speak with the judges, you're going to show them a portfolio. This year we're going to do it in an e-portfolio method using Canvas, and I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to do to get everything uploaded correctly. The nice thing about having this video is you can reference it whenever you want. So if you want to look at it at home and work on this at home, if you've got uh, time during flex, you can really work on it whenever. Pretty much everything here should be able to be completed on your iPad. It might be a little bit easier to do on a computer um, if you have one at home or have a chance to go to the library. But again, it should be able to com be completed either way. If you look here, I have a list of everything that needs to go in your portfolio and the order it needs to go in. So the first thing we're going to have is the final reflection. Remember, this is a thorough reflection. This isn't a short answer to each question that is posed there. This is a really thoughtful process. You should also think about your tone and your attitude in the reflection. That's going to be the first thing the judges look at. If your tone is really negative or if your attitude in the reflection is really bad, that might have an effect on how they look at your presentation. Next is a clean copy of your paper. This is one of the really great things about Senior Project. You've had several drafts already, so hopefully your paper's in a really good place. But if it isn't, or even if it is, you've got a chance to fix all those little mistakes to make it even better, to make the organization more clear, to clean up your thesis if you need to, and um, put the most polished version of the paper you can into this reflection. So again, they're not looking at your second draft or even the final draft that you submitted you can still improve the paper and upload something even better to your ePortfolio. Next is your faculty advisor form with all signatures, your signed mentor agreement, your ongoing product plan, and you see the note here. Um, if your product has changed a lot um, from the first time you created that product plan, it's okay for you to revise it a little bit. Then your mentor log and then your product log. Okay, So these six things, um, these seven things in this order that's what we're going to upload here on Canvas. So I'm going to show you um, now where to go and how to do that. I'll warn you ahead of time, the portfolio tab and process on Canvas is a little bit slow. Um, it's just a lot of information, a lot of stuff that it can upload and try to keep in one place. So if it seems like it's running slow, that's normal. Just be patient and you'll get through it. Okay. So in Canvas, you see over here, <clears throat> you get your little um, tabs. You're going to click on account and then you're going to click on ePortfolios. Once you get to ePortfolios, it should take you to a page that looks something like this. Okay, You probably won't have any listed here. You're going to click on create an ePortfolio. Now when you click on that create an ePortfolio tab, it's going to ask you to name your portfolio. Senior project is probably a really good name for it. Don't do anything crazy. And then it's going to have a little box for you to click to make it public you need to make your portfolio public. If you don't make it public, then I can't see it, your judges can't see it, Ms. Hintz can't see it, and it doesn't do us any good. So you have to make sure you've clicked that tab to make it public. Okay. Then you're gonna get to a page that looks something like this. Okay. This is where we're actually building the portfolio together. You'll see over here on the right, we've got a bunch of different pages. Right now, if you're going through this process with me, you should probably just have the welcome page. We need to add all the other pages in. Well, you can see here I've put it in order of what our paper is going to be. My first page is the final reflection, then I have copy of paper, my faculty advisor, and my mentor agreement. So eventually you would add the ongoing product plan, the mentor log, and the product log here. You can do that by clicking organize or manage pages, and it's going to come up with all these little edit buttons. Well, all we're going to do is add another page and then it gives you the option for page name. Well, the next one here is going to be our ongoing product plan. So I'm just going to name this ongoing product plan. And I've made my next page for the senior project. Go through and do that with all of these different steps. Now, once you've done that, um, you can click done editing and then you can pick a page that you want to edit. So this is where we'll actually upload the information. So let's go on and click on final reflection here for example. Again you can see it's moving a little bit slowly um, as we're loading things up. 
One thing to note as you're uploading these documents, do not upload a PDF file. If you upload a PDF file, then whoever's looking at your portfolio is going to have to download that and um, open it up in preview or another application. We don't want that. We want all of your judges to be able to see everything right here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you click on your page, and like I said, right now we're looking at Final Reflection, we're going to click on Edit This Page. And you see here we've got all of this space to type up our paper or reflection. Well, in this case, I've got a reflection here. It's in PDF. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of it. And then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to click on Save Page. And you see here my final reflection is on this page. It's nice and neat. It's in the same order. It's really thorough and thought out. So now whenever the judges click on the final reflection page, they're going to see the reflection here. Now, some of the documents are going to be um, a little bit different. You can upload your paper this exact same way. You can copy and paste it. Ms. Hintz and I are very much aware that the formatting won't be perfect in this setup. You're not going to have maybe the exact double spacing and the pages listed the right way. That is okay. We just want to ensure that it's well written, that you still have your abstract, that it has a good organization, that you've got your title page, that things flow really well. But we understand it's not going to be an absolutely perfect format. But take something like the faculty advisor form. Let's click on that page and edit it. For most of you guys, or for all of you guys, you did the faculty advisor form on your iPad and had it signed on your iPad, which means it's going to be in a PDF. And I just told you don't upload PDFs, so what do you do? Okay. Well, we're going to edit this page again, okay. but this time we're going to click Image File Upload. And what you should do is get a copy of that uh, faculty advisor form and you can take a screenshot if it's on your iPad or a screenshot if it's on your computer and then you're going to get a screenshot like I've got right here. We're going to upload that image to the faculty advisor page. Again, do not upload PDFs. Everything you upload for senior projects should either be a picture or it should be text like I just showed you. So we're going to click on image file upload. I'm going to choose my file, desktop, and I've got this screenshot here is the one that I chose. I'm going to choose it and I'm going to upload that. And there we go. It is right here. So I'm going to click Save Page. And now we see when they click on the Faculty Advisor form, we've got all of the information that we had, all the signatures from that process. So every page that you can create will be done in one of these two ways. You will either take a screenshot of something and upload the picture, for example, the faculty advisor form. You might need to do that um, with some of the other signature forms you had. But for things like the final reflection or the copy of paper, it's easy to copy and paste into this document. Okay. Now, we've got our senior project pretty well lined up. We need to make a few more pages. If you want to, you can delete this welcome page. We don't really need that. And now we just have our senior project information. This is going to be a really easy way for everybody to keep everything together. In years past, we've done everything in paper and a little file, but we're trying something new this year. So again, this is the order that the documents go in, and I've shown you the two different ways you might upload something to the pages. Hopefully the process will go easy for you, but if you have a question, you need to come see Ms. Hintz or speak to your English teacher so that we can help you go through this process. Good luck, guys. We'll see you all on April 12th.